This video is about how to use the fanfiction.net app on an iPhone, but you could do this on an Android device as well, uh, to publish a new story on fanfiction.net. So first what you want to do is you want to download the fanfiction.net app. The first time you open the uh, app, you're going to need to log into it. And then once you've logged into it, you'll see this base screen. This is the reading screen, the home screen. You can't publish a story from this home screen. But you can read stories and participate in the community. So if you want to publish a story, you have to switch to the um, publish screen. And that's the little fountain pen nib icon. So we'll tap on that one. It turns blue. And that's the publish screen. And then from here, you can publish your story. And I always upload images to go with my stories. So if you want to do that, what you should do is go to the image manager, tap the plus button tap the images picture, tap the image you want. Now, for some reason that I do not understand, the mobile app actually chops the images more than it does on the regular desktop version of the website. So if you use the mobile app to upload your images, you're gonna have to adapt your image size to the way that this thing chops it. Um, really, this should be the full size of the image, which is what's accepted on the desktop version. But on the app, you're stuck with that. So if you were to do this, it would chop the image up. It doesn't really matter what you call it. Letting you in chopped. And as you can see, this one, it actually cuts off the letters on either side, which is extremely annoying. So what we're going to do is we're going to just delete this. You just hold on to it, and then you tap it, check marks, uh, until check mark little circles appear. Put the check mark in the image you want to delete and then tap on the delete button. So let's get rid of that one we don't want. So this is the one that I uploaded using the desktop version. It gives me all the text that I put on it. You then go to the document manager. And here's another thing. Uh, I do not actually recommend using the mobile app to publish, but I'm just letting you know that it is possible. It's just more painful than using the desktop version. Uh, I have a set of videos, uh, tutorial videos online for how to use the desktop version to publish a story. But assuming we stay with the mobile version, what you do is you want to add a new chapter. We're going to call this Letting You In Chapter 1. Now, again, as I don't recommend using this platform, you're going to see a not ideal behavior from the app. So I recommend using the desktop version to publish. But if you have to, this is how you're going to have to do it. Uh, don't bother using file upload. For some reason, it gives you a random useless screen. Uh, you're going to have to use input. Don't use docx. That's actually the document exchange format that proprietary to fanfiction.net that's meant to be used for betas and, and story writers. I've never used it. Don't recommend it. Uh, but if you want to upload a story here, you can't use file upload. You have to use uh, format story and input and then select OK. Now, you can manually type your text in here, but that's not what we're going to do. I've already written the story. It's over in my uh, Google Docs app, and I want to select all of it. So I tap three times in a row because it's an iPhone. The select all becomes available. Tap select all. Tap copy. OK, so I go back to the app, and I paste it in. And I think, oh, this is easy. It's going to be wonderful. Uh, paste without forwarding formatting would strap, strip <laughs> the uh, italics, bold, and underline. And I don't want to do that, so I tap on Paste, hoping that all of the bold, italics, and underline come in. And they do not. They all get completely stripped. So if you wanted to publish and all you had was your iPhone available, you would actually have to manually go in and add italics back in again to every single thing the bold bits the italic bits everything it would just be awful uh, you could also i suppose use the uh the buttons down here and then it would bold it but you have to do every single word one at a time and then uh if you want to add a a uh, horizontal line, which I always do between the header of the story. You just tap that little uh, very long horizontal line button that's at the bottom of the bold italics underline uh, alignment section uh, at the bottom of the text editor, and it inserts this line. So if I were to do this, 
then I would have to walk all the way through this document. Every single thing would be, let's see where, where's an example here, uh, the bed, not her bed. So let's go up here and it'd be the bed, not her bed. And you just have to go through the entire chapter doing this manually. It is a real pain in the butt, but you do it. Once you make all the changes, uh, you make the chapter look the way you want to. If you've got author notes at the top or the bottom, I recommend putting the horizontal line in. Doesn't matter the spacing. Fanfiction.net will change the spaces and you won't have any control over it, no matter which way you uh, upload your story. But once you're done making all your changes, then you tap on that little uh, save button. It looks like a floppy disk from 1995, so anybody born after that point probably won't recognize it. So just go for that like little sort of house looking icon at the top that has a like, top right corner chopped off and that'll be your save. So you tap on that and at the very bottom you see upload success appeared and so now you've saved the changes and you go back here. Uh, however, since I didn't want to go through that whole long, terrible, tedious process of editing every single bold italics and underline in my chapter, <laughs> I uploaded this using the desktop interface so I could just suck it all in and all the italics are kept and preserved in the story. So since we don't want this version anymore, I'm just going to hold my thumb down on it until the little circle appears. I check mark next to the circle in the circle and I tap the delete to the trash can icon. So I get rid of that version I don't want. Delete confirmation. Okay. So I have my first chapter of the story letting you in in my document manager. I have the image in the image manager. Now I need to publish the story. So I'm going to tap on publish story. And this is the guidelines so make sure you read all of them make sure you understand the different levels of ratings the fiction ma is not allowed on the site tap on yes i have read and agreed to the content guidelines and terms of service and click on go now you can start entering all of your story metadata if it is a story that uses more than one fandom then make sure you tap crossover otherwise just stick with fan fiction Tap on plus, you can choose a category. Okay, so now we need to search for Bridgerton. So we tap on the little hamburger icon in the upper right hand corner. And we tap on all. And then there's this little A to Z icon in the upper right hand corner now, tap on that. And then over on the left, you see uh, an X, an at sign, and then a search button. So let's tap on that little search magnifying glass and then up, up under please enter keyword type in the desired fandom see if it's there yep it's there and then tap on that and choosing the characters that star in it so if you don't see your character here or you didn't see your fandom uh, in the list of categories you need to go to the fanfiction.net website go to the very bottom of any page on that website click on the help link and send a message to the administrators and email to them to let them know that you need a new uh, category and new characters added. But my characters are already available, so I'm going to choose Anthony. Choose Kate. Where is Kate? The other characters who happen to be in it are Edwina, Lady Mary. I wonder if Lady Mary's in the list, actually. Nope, she's under Mary S. She should be Lady Mary. Okay. Um, we also have pretty much the entire family. <laughs> Benedict. Oh, you can only add four characters. Okay. Uh, so what this is here is if you tap on the names, you can make couples. And if they have the same color, that means they're paired. If there's no color and they're just gray, that means they're individual characters. So people who search for pairings, who search for Anthony Kate, so they're both going to be red. They're in a relationship. Tap on next. Actually, you know what? I think more significantly, the characters who should be listed here, just given my story, my apologies, are um, Violet, Lady Bridgerton. <laughs> Not visible on the list. Let's try that again. Sometimes that happens. Violet Bridgerton. That should be Lady Bridgerton. All right, whatever. Uh, so they have most, the next most lines in the story. 
Oh, but you know what? Lady Danbury is way more fun. <laughs> okay, so we have Benedict and Lady Danbury, and they both have fun. Okay, next we are going to enter the story's title, which is Letting You In. Let's add the covers. We tap on the picture of the armchair with the word cover. Then we tap on the little uh, edit pencil icon in the upper right hand corner. That brings up all of our available images, which you know, obviously we just uploaded the one that we want. And then we tap on that one and it looks good. So I'm tapping on save. Language is English. The rating is M. The genre is, I would say, romance. Genre B is humor. Uh, let's see. Now, you could manually type in the text here. Again, I've already pre-written it just to make the tutorial faster. So let's go back out to where I've written the summary. Uh, this is just a personal uh, way that I do summaries. But if I've written a story for a fandom, but it's designed to be readable by people who don't even know the fandom, I start my summary with a asterisk to let people know that that is what I'm doing. But that is just a personal convention. You can totally ignore that for your story. All right, let's paste in the text. Oh, good, it fits. Double check, make sure everything looks fine. Okay. Uh, the story is in progress, so make sure it's... And click next. Okay, let's add a chapter. So to do this, you need to have already put a, tag, a document in the document manager. This is just called chapter one. Yeah, okay. And the document is gonna be the one that is in the document manager that I already put in and that looks right. Is there anything else? All the text looks like it's there. Huh, why does it have a nine at the bottom? That's strange. Must be because it pulled it from Word. I hope it doesn't display. All right, well, let's tap on the publish button and see what happens. All right, so there's one chapter in the story. I'm not adding any other chapters right now. I'm just gonna publish one chapter per week. The whole story has been written at this point and edited and I just release it a little bit at a time because I have discovered that if I release it a little bit at a time, it gets more readers than if I leave list it all at once. Then it just kind of appears and then other stories update and it pushes it down and nobody sees it. But if I publish it one chapter at a time, it keeps popping up to the top of the update list. All right, so anyway, that's what that is. Everything looks good. I am gonna tap on publish. Let's hope it's not broken. Okay. Right. Um, it looks like the story has been published. Do I tap on it to read it? Oh, look, there it is. All right. All right, now the formatting looks correct. These are all the other stories I've published before. Again, there's that funky nine at the bottom. I think I'm going to have to go edit that. All right, let me show you how to edit a chapter and fix a typo. So you go back to publish, which is this little fountain pen nib icon at the bottom of the app. And you tap on document manager. We're going to edit this and try to get rid of that nine at the bottom. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's it. Must have gotten pulled in from that yeah let's tap the save button upload success tap on back so all we've done at this point is we've edited the document that's in the document manager but we haven't published it so let's go to story manager tap on letting you in no change to this no change to that modify the chapter we're gonna use the document, which is, once again, we're gonna select the one that's in the document manager. I'm gonna scroll to the bottom, make sure the nine is not there. Ah, no nine, good. Let's save that change. We've updated the chapter. All right. 
So if we tap on this again, oh, that's story manager. Let's go out and actually go to the reading view. So armchair icon, tap on read. No, tap on library. Okay, now this is reading view. Tap on the story. Scroll down to the bottom. Nope, too far down. All right, yeah, see there's no nine there anymore. So it looks like the story has been edited and first chapter is up and all of my subscribing readers have been notified and that's how you do it using the fanfiction.net app. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave comments at the bottom if you have any questions.